Goku's drip is pretty good. He goes through a lot of different clothing, but the most iconic one is the orange and blue, and it is iconic. This drip is only at its best when it's all torn up and it's barely hanging off him. Goku's best drip goes from, and I've recently come to this conclusion, anything black. It's then a tie between the orange and blue gi. Then you've got the rest, like the Saiyan armor and the Yardrat clothes. Even that one time in Super when Goku had his hair slicked back and he was in a suit, you'd put that around that level as well. You'd even want to put the pre-sell games outfit down there as well. But uh, that's about as far as it goes for Goku. Gohan's a bit different. He has Piccolo to give him clothes whenever he needs. And to be honest, Gohan right now, you wouldn't even know what his main outfit is. Is it that green tracksuit or his business clothes, a suit maybe? You wouldn't know what it is, but I'd say Gohan's best outfits are a combination between his father's and Piccolo's. I will say though, one heavily underrated piece of drip for Gohan is the Saiyan Man outfit. Not the full helmet and costume with the cape, that's ridiculous. But all you needed to do was just take away the cape and Gohan looks pretty cool here. Vegeta's outfits change about every main arc, from the Saiyan to Freezer Saga to the Cell Saga to the Boo Saga to the end of the series. It's always a variation of the Saiyan armor, so by default, that really makes Vegeta's best drip that pink shirt. It's the only time he wore anything that wasn't in uniform. Aside from that though, I always liked Vegeta's Boo Saga outfit, the one where he was just straight blue and boots. Vegeta has recently gotten his own pair of Yardrat clothes, and maybe soon he's about to get his God of Destruction ring. Vegeta's best objective drip is the Saiyan armor, but darkened. Next up is Trunks, and he has had a few outfits here, the main one being his cutoff jacket, and honestly, this is probably the best. Trunks always kind of wore everything pretty well. Even in Dragon Ball Heroes, they've given him a million different designs over there with a trench coat, but you can't beat the classics. For Trunks, it's the blue cutoff jacket as number one. Then you'd probably look at him with the Saiyan armor. That would probably be on the same level as his super design. Uh, but don't sleep on the hero's design with the trench coat. I mean, Trunks really can wear anything and make it work. Next up is... Krillin. Now this is interesting because Krillin is a very unique looking guy and he has worn lots of different outfits, probably the most diverse amount of outfits I think I've ever seen in my life. Obviously the most iconic would be the same one as Goku's or the orange and blue, but that's definitely not his best. Krillin can also be seen in a very nice white tuxedo here. This is Krillin's greatest outfit of all time. When Goku tried to wear this, he couldn't even do it. But that's not the end of Krillin's long line of drip. He has been seen wearing Piccolo's clothes, and because he is so small, at least compared to Piccolo, half the cape's just dragging along the ground. The Saiyan armor outfit also suits him pretty well. It makes him look like an almost miniature version of Nappa. In the majority of Super, he was wearing this green long outfit and it does suit him I guess but it's definitely not his best. He was also wearing a red shirt with tacos written on it. Also never forget when he first showed up with hair no one even thought that was possible and he came in wearing this drip looking like a completely different person here. With Krillin it's anytime he's worn a suit as number one then the Saiyan drip, Piccolo drip and then his red shirt drip and then the rest. So the final one here is actually Piccolo and this is very very simple it's either between two. It's between his main drip or this.